Hi, I'm really excited to be uh, showing you the flagship wines from Two Hands from 2017. 17 was a challenging vintage here for us at Two Hands. We had a very, very wet winter. Normally here in the Western Ranges in the Barossa, we get about 450 mil of rain. We got over 817. So just to give you an understanding, the second ever wettest winter in Australia is since records have been kept. And so how did that affect the vines? The vines kind of got drunk on water. And I mean, they had really huge canopies, really big berries, really large crops in 17. And that made a huge um, challenge for us here in the vineyards and also in the winery to get the grapes phenolically ripe and then to get concentration in the wines. We had to work incredibly hard. So it's a thrill today to show you uh, Adrestia, which is 100% Cimelon in 17, uh, Grenache, uh, Aropi, Eris Shiraz and Aphrodite Cabernet. First up, we have uh, Adrestia 17, which is 100% Semillon. Uh, we didn't take in the Sauvignon Blanc in 17, we just didn't fill it was up to the quality of the, the wine, and we ended up making 100% Semillon. It's a fascinating vineyard at Hope Forest, which is the hills perched high above McLaren Vale. What we find there is that Hope Forest gets all of its weather off the Southern Ocean, and this site is a very, very cool site. And that's what we're looking for. We want real high natural acidity here. And we pick this with not a lot of flavor. Then we barrel ferment it, and then we leave it in tank for a year after it's been in cask for a year, and then in bottle for a year. It's released as a three-year-old wine. 17 Aropi, uh, looking fabulous in the glass. I just love the smell of this wine. It's lifted rose petal, lavender, cherry. All these wonderful notes just waft straight out of the glass. Only three barrels. Uh, it's a blend of uh, one barrel from Adrian Hoffman, very old vineyard out of Lebanese, and then my favourite Grenache vineyard in the Barossa, Dave Maternity, is out on um, Capunda Road. And it's contrasting in that David's berry configuration is always smaller and it's a darker coloured uh, grape. Uh, Adrian's is more the redder side of it, but when you marry the two together, and really we start with 30 Grenache barrels and we pretty much just select the three best. And you know, you don't really know when I'm tasting those 30 what we're going through, and then all of a sudden at the end of it, it's like they're the three best, it just happened in 17, but they had to be the blend of the two vineyards. 2017 Eris Shiraz is predominantly off of our Holy Grail vineyard, and just to explain how difficult 17 was, was that what happened was is that the vine had so much water resource that it just continued to grow. And you can't just keep hedging and trimming a vine. What had actually happened is some buds under the head of the vine had shot. We ended up with these ball canes that were running through the canopy. So uh, the vineyard crew and I, four of us were out there for two and a half weeks straight every day, cutting these ball canes out, ripping them out and shoving them in the middle of the, the row. And we had to get sunlight and airflow into our canopies to get the flavors to ripen. And so we started in about the first week of February and we just started every day being out there. And it was kind of like the effort that we put into making this wine was like unbelievable. We never had to do this effort before to get the vine back into balance. And it was just because the vegetative growth was just so great and all the fruit was shaded and there was no sunlight or airflow getting into the canopy. So we took the hard decision to get out there and physically get in the vineyard. And uh, I could just never forget it. Like it was just when <laughs> we finally finished. And then we made the wine and the wine was so good it was kind of validated all that hard work. So um, 17, not a naturally talented vintage for Eris, but we worked so hard in the vineyard. I'm really proud of the product. Aphrodite Cabernet at Two Hands always expresses the best Cabernet for the vintage. And for the second time, it's actually come from McLaren Vale. We were so fortunate in 17 and that uh, we were sourcing a lot of fruit from a very famous vineyard in Clarendon called Higginbotham. And Mike, the vineyard manager, said, guys, do you want to have some old vine Cabernet Sauvignon? And I'm like, let's have a look at it. Incredibly steep slope, like we're talking like that, uh, about 30 year old vines. And we only got about a tonne and a half. I could tell straight away from tasting the fruit on the vine, but once we got it in the winery and some beautiful old French barrels, and it really is the, exactly what I want from a Cabernet. It smells like Cabernet, it tastes like Cabernet, and it's got incredible length. And we're really fortunate because we now source more and more Cabernet from this vineyard, um, and I'm just so thrilled with what we're able to make in 17 Aphrodite Cabernet.